Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Shop Snacks. Today's episode is all about how to not pass out from sweaty hotness in your van. One way I plan to stay cool is by using my new Max Air fan, but that requires me to cut a hole into my newly lifted roof, but it's got to be done. So let's jump right in. We are not professionals. If you follow any of the things we do in this video, it's at your own risk. When thinking about fans for your van, you need to decide which one is gonna work best for you. There's two main brands that most van life people use. The first one is the Fantastic Fan, and the second one is the Max Air Fan. I think people first started out using the Fantastic Fan, but I heard it's noisy, so I didn't want anything that's gonna cause excess noise. So I went with the more expensive Max Air Fan because I figured might as well put quality in the van because I'm gonna have this thing for a while. Now, who knew that this fan was so freaking popular. So when I went to go get this fan, it was nowhere around. It was all back ordered because of the COVIDs. I guess it's, I don't know, maybe everyone wants to get an RV in a van and go live in it. So they were out of stock everywhere or it was like atrociously overpriced. And I was like, I'm not gonna pay double just because of the demand, but I needed to get it because we had to do that before we can move on to other things. Anyways, I found it at Camping World for a decent price. It was back ordered, but they said that it would be available in like two weeks. So as the date for delivery came closer, I got another email saying that it's gonna be delayed again. And I was like, oh heck no, I like, we gotta get this poppin'. I gotta get this thing installed. So I called Camping World and the lady was like, oh well, it's just out of stock right now and too bad for you. So I'll just give you your refund. I was like, oh no, 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 no. I still need the fan and now I really need it. Like everywhere else is back ordered and I still need the fan. So no, I just need you to get it together. All of the stores in Southern California were sold out or back ordered still. And there was one store in the San Diego area that had one unit available. I was like, I'll take it. And she goes, well, let me call the store. The manager there says, we do have one in stock, but it's on hold. And there's five other people on a waiting list behind that person. Bro, I just need a fan. I need to stay cool. So finally, she said it's going to take 30 days. And I was like, 30 days. At that point, I was like, my van's gonna be done in 30 days, which is laughable. So there's nothing more that I could do. I'm at the mercy of Camping World. It did arrive earlier. It arrived maybe two weeks later, but it was the wrong color. I ordered the white color and it came in a smoke color. I wasn't like too picky about, but also I waited all that time and then you're gonna send me the wrong product. So of course, you know, I get on my phone and I'm like, bro, you guys send me the wrong one after all this time. So the manager gets on the phone and she's like, listen, Usually we start negotiating at 10% off if there's a problem. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a full 15% refund. And I was like, sweet, I'll take it. If you're building a van or building any kind of tiny home or anything, I recommend ordering the important parts as soon as possible because you never know if things are gonna be back ordered. A few other reasons why I chose this fan is that number one, it has both the blowing and the exhaust. So you can do it both ways. Installing this fan was kind of a breeze. You know what else will be breezy? Is if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and you might as well throw a like on it. The lid is also a rain guard, so you can keep the fan open and running even when it's raining. And it has a remote control. Not that I needed a remote control because it's a van and you could just stand up and touch things. But if you're in bed and it's hot and you want to pump it up, then you can do it from the luxury of your bed. And one of the nicest things about this fan is that it's super quiet. Now the lid opening and closing is not quiet. <sighs> But once the lid is open, it's very quiet. Another thing to note about this fan is that you're gonna need to have some ventilation. So you'll need to crack open a window and then it'll create an air loop so that you stay nice and cool. Now this fan is not an air conditioner. Don't think that you're gonna get freezing cold temperatures. You're just gonna get a nice airflow and probably a little bit of coolness. So I'll have to give you an update once I'm back out on the road. But since testing this in the van while we're building, it has been very nice. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, oh. I'm gonna align it right to my camera. It's right here. So middle. this should go forward a little bit? Yeah. And then we have to measure to see how much room we have from there. So, so that's... Six, if we touched it, it's 60. Okay. And if we go all the way back, not all the way back, but like well, an inch. Well, close. About there. Sure. That's 70. I mean, this could probably go up maybe an inch if we had to. So no more than Some 70. Some of those panels are 72 inches. Yeah. We'd have to go up two inches and they'd be touching. That's a problem. Okay, go. Cool. Okay, you're going to drill two on that, drill two. Oh boy. Just go just on that. Just in, yeah, in it. Oh, I didn't get on mine, just inside the thing. I mean, just inside both the lines. Oh! That's a good sign. Hello. Oh. Dad, you're not going to believe it. I don't know if we're off or if this thing is off. See what happens. Okay. This face is the back, right? Yeah. You got it? Kind of. <gasps> well, the think? holes are going to be a little bit higher, I think. With the drill? Right. But oh. it fits. How do you get this to match? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Lift it up. This has to go inside. Oh, I can't see either of mine. Mine still has to go down further. Like a lot further. If we gotta cut another quarter inch off, that's gonna be fun. It's weird because it fits over here perfectly, and over here, it's too long. I know. I wonder if something's caught in there. That's what I'm wondering. Let me put this side in first. Before we cut it. That's corner by the end, that one there. Oh! No, it's 
still it's still the same thing. Oh okay. So this is up, but this is I don't know why. You think it's hitting you think it's hitting something? See, right? I don't I can't tell what's happening, so I don't know. I didn't worry about it. Come on. Yeah, they don't tell you about this stuff. <laughs> Trim it. Hey, how about a pair of scissors? I was like, oh, it's just so easy. You should fit right in. What the heck? What the heck? I have to go with this for a second. Hmm? If it's the wood, then it really wouldn't matter. And if it comes down to one inch. <laughs> should, at some point, it should. It should, if we'd have to, let me get, um, you got like a knife? They said it would be easy. They lied. Do you have a stick? Let me just feel, no, wait, there's something right here. Just the wires. Oh my gosh. So what I recommend doing is from here to the edge. About four inches. You just tape measure. Take, just make a ch -ch, like a U. Oh god, this better work. It's gotta work. Come on. Oh. Wait. It's better, I think. No. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Unless there's something on the sides. This is really annoying me. All clear, all clear. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I think the whole thing needs to come down a little bit. Because there's these little tiny list, little catches. Let's just cut these other two sides down. I don't know. Okay, let's see. We're on to something. Oh, that looks much better. Yeah. I think that's probably it. That's good. I'm huh? okay. I'm okay with that. Let me go get the screws. Hallelujah. Well, at least it's done. Hallelujah. It's a work of art. I'm going to bed. A couple other quick notes because my roof is curved. There's a gap here, so I'll probably fill that in with something, but I don't really know and it's not that serious. Also, I'm gonna make a little cushion thing that pops in there. Just something light with maybe Velcro. Even though this has a lid on top, I can still feel a little bit of air coming through. So I need to kind of put that in there so when it's colder, the air doesn't come through. So you want to always stay well insulated. But this thing is awesome.